Hi, welcome back to Movie Recap Zone. Today, I'm going to explain a beautiful romantic, comedy movie from 2006 titled, She's the Man. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie opens with Viola, a beautiful girl who actually likes soccer. She and her boyfriend Justin, are so happy being together. Viola who attends Cornwall High School wants to register their team in an inter-school soccer match, but has to be disappointed because of the lack of players. Viola is annoyed and then goes to her coach, but they are actually humiliated because they are women. Meanwhile, her boyfriend, Justin turns out to be defending their coach. Viola, who is annoyed, breaks up with Justin. When returning home, Viola is stopped by a blonde woman named Monique, who turns out to be Sebastian's girlfriend, Viola's twin. According to Monique, Viola and Sebastian are so similar that it's hard to tell them apart. When in Sebastian's room, Viola found her twin brother was about to run away from home. It turns out that Sebastian wants to go to London for a two-week music festival. Their parents are divorced so he easily fooled his father and mother and told them that he was staying at one of their houses. Then when she looked in the mirror and saw a photo of her twin brother, Viola had an idea. With Paul's help, Viola intends to disguise herself as Sebastian and enter Illyria High School which in the next few weeks will be playing against the Cornwall soccer team. Paul finally agreed and started doing various experiments to make Viola look like Sebastian. Viola also began to learn how to walk like a man until finally, she did not expect to be able to look like Sebastian. It was time to go, but she didn't forget to take her pad. Viola told her mother that she would also stay at her father's house for two weeks. But when her mother forbids, Viola assures that Monique, Sebastian's girlfriend will also be there. Her mother was so happy because Viola would definitely look like a real girl if she hung out with Monique. Finally, the day she had been waiting for arrived. Viola arrives at Illyria High School as Sebastian. At first, she was so nervous and not confident, but thanks to Paul's support, finally Viola stepped straight into the high school. For the first time, Viola entered the boys' dormitory, and she was so shocked by the atmosphere that was so chaotic. Arriving at her room, Viola meets Duke Orsino, who is her roommate. In the room, there were Andrew and Toby, who stayed next door. While chatting, Viola accidentally dropped her pad. The boys were so astonished why a man brought a menstrual pad. A frantic Viola admits that she has nosebleeds, so she needs something to stop her nosebleed. The boys laugh so amused by her behavior. Viola finally managed to take part in soccer practice at Illyria High School. Unfortunately, Viola was not chosen as the main player, and it was pretty disappointing. When she was about to take a shower, Viola forgot that she was a girl. She was almost dragged into the bath with the boys until finally, the coach Dinklage came and said that the principal was looking for her. While leaving the principal's office, Viola bumped into a blonde girl named Olivia. Unexpectedly Olivia has a secret crush on her. While eating with Duke and his friends, Olivia came, and it turned out that Duke really liked her. It's just that Olivia's eyes are only on Viola. Viola feels Olivia is a sad girl. She started to get carried away and said poetic things that made the boys run away from her. Because a man should not speak like a woman. Viola realizes that everyone is starting to think she is gay and stays away from her. So she called Paul and asked for help. Paul obviously has plans of his own. While visiting a restaurant, Duke and the boys try to stay away from Viola. But Paul starts sending his friends to pretend to flirt with Viola, who is still disguised as Sebastian. Viola, who looks like a playboy, makes Duke and his friends confused and amazed. But their plan almost failed when Monique, Sebastian's girlfriend, suddenly saw Viola, who looked like Sebastian. Viola tries to avoid her, but Monique insists on chasing her. Viola's refusal upsets Monique, and she runs away. Everyone immediately cheered. Duke and the boys were amazed by Viola and welcomes her back into their team. At school, Viola was suddenly very popular. When they enter biology class, the teacher assigns them a pairing assignment, and Duke has to work with Eunice, a clumsy girl at school. Meanwhile, Viola is paired with Olivia. Duke and Viola then made an agreement. If Viola can make him team up with Olivia, then he'll teach Viola soccer and make her join the game against Cornwall School. The following days, Viola and Olivia met more often for group work. Meanwhile, Duke is trying to make Viola better at playing soccer. While practicing soccer, her friend accidentally kicked the ball right in Viola's genitals. Supposedly men would scream in pain, but Viola forgot that. She then pretended to scream. Luckily her cover still hasn't been exposed. Meanwhile, Malcolm, a smart boy at school, becomes suspicious of Viola's attitude and decides to reveal her secret. During group work, Viola persuades Olivia to date Duke, but Olivia says that Duke is not her type. Then Viola thought that she should teach Duke how to flirt with women. In their room, 
Viola pretends to be Olivia and asks Dute to flirt with her. But while they were practicing, a tarantula came into their room and scared them. Viola screamed until she was forced to let out her female voice while hugging Duke. In their town, there was a carnival one weekend. Viola's mother forced her to come, so she went there with Duke and the boys. At the carnival, Viola sees Monique, and she knows it will get her into trouble. Viola ran to the public toilet and changed into a girl. Then, Viola accidentally bumped into Duke, who was astonished to feel he had seen her somewhere. Viola then joined as a volunteer at the kissing booth. When it was Duke's turn, the two finally kissed. But it turns out that Viola really enjoyed her kiss with Duke until finally Justin, her ex-boyfriend came and didn't accept it. Duke and Justin end up getting into a fight. After Viola returned to her dorm room, she was so surprised that Duke used his pad to dry the blood running down his nose. Duke then told Viola that he kissed a girl at the kissing booth. Viola, who is still disguised as Sebastian, tries hard to ask Duke about his feelings for Viola, because Viola is in love with Duke. The days continued with hard training between Viola and Duke. But Malcolm kept an eye on the two because he grew suspicious that the Sebastian he saw was a girl in disguise. Finally, the day that Viola had been waiting for arrived. Coach Dinklage apparently chose Viola as the main player in the match against Cornwall High School. Viola, who was so happy, hugged Duke and grabbed his butt. It certainly made Duke very uncomfortable. Olivia is also in the gym is even more fascinated by Viola. She then decided to make Viola jealous by pretending to flirt with Duke. Viola is angry seeing that. Olivia then asks Duke out on a date. At first, Duke and Olivia didn't enjoy their date, but when Viola came with Eunice, the two immediately acted as if they were romantic. Olivia and Duke finally kisses in front of Viola. Viola immediately left. When attending a social gathering with her mother, Viola, who is not disguised as Sebastian, is so annoyed when she sees Olivia because she is so jealous. So when she met Olivia in the bathroom, Viola repeatedly said that Duke was a disgusting person, especially when she kissed him at the kissing booth. That's when Olivia said that she didn't really like Duke, but she was more attracted to Sebastian. Viola was so shocked and never imagined herself disguised as Sebastian would actually be liked by Olivia. It turned out that Monique was in the bathroom cubicle. An angry Monique then starts attacking Olivia and makes the three of them fight. The real Sebastian came home early, and unexpectedly, Olivia saw him from a distance. Olivia immediately ran to Sebastian and kissed him. But Duke saw the two from a distance and was so angry. Meanwhile, Monique, who came home, did not expect to hear a voice message from Sebastian saying that he had just returned from London. It made her so annoyed because it turned out that Viola was disguised as Sebastian all this time. Meanwhile, Duke was so annoyed with Viola that he kicked her out of her room. Malcolm continues to research on Viola until he gets information that Olivia and Sebastian are twins. And that's when Monique came to Duke's dormitory looking for Viola disguised as Sebastian and met Malcolm. Malcolm has the idea to reveal Viola's secret all this time. The day of the match against Cornwall High arrives, and the real Sebastian wakes up and is so surprised by his surroundings. He was even led to participate in the match even though he couldn't play soccer at all. Olivia, who was staying in Eunice's room, woke up late and immediately headed for the match field. But the match had already started and the real Sebastian walked into the field with a confused look on his face. Justin and Duke compete with each other to win the game. Meanwhile, the real Sebastian is really bad at playing soccer. The principal, accompanied by Monique and Malcolm, stopped the match and entered the field center. The principal starts to announce over the loudspeaker that Sebastian is a girl. They really did not expect that in front of them was the real Sebastian. The principal says that Sebastian is actually Viola in disguise. After being asked to prove, Sebastian immediately dropped his pants and made everyone shocked. Because he is a man. The incident was so embarrassing for the principal, who was angry with Malcolm. During the rest period and all the players go into the locker room, Sebastian is pulled by Viola and is told that she has been disguised as Sebastian. Viola changed clothes with Sebastian and entered the field. This time, Viola played really well until their team took the lead. But Duke, who was still annoyed with Viola didn't want to pass the ball to her, thus making their team lose a point. Viola and Duke got into an argument in the middle of the field until finally Justin came and made Duke even angrier. The two then got into a fight. That's when Olivia comes and says that she really enjoyed her kiss last night. Viola had lost patience, explaining that she never liked Olivia. Finally, Viola says that she likes Duke. Everyone was shocked to hear that. Viola then admits that she is not Sebastian but Viola. Viola explains why she came to be part of the Illyria school soccer team while breaking her disguise. But Duke still couldn't believe it until Viola decided to lift her shirt and show her breasts. Everyone was so shocked to see her. 
Viola finally apologizes for causing such a mess, but she just wants to prove that a woman can play soccer too. Cornwall High School coach did not allow Olivia to compete, but coach Dinklage disagreed because they do not discriminate between male and female players. Finally, the game resumed, and it was clear the Illyria school soccer team proved that they really deserved the title as champions. Viola got the chance to kick the penalty kick, and she came face to face with Justin. Unexpectedly, Viola managed to score a goal and bring her team to become champions. Justin was crying, lamenting his defeat. Duke and Viola then meet one night by the lake, and Duke finally reveals that he still can't forget the girl he kissed at the kissing booth. That statement finally made the two find each other's hearts. The two are officially dating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. And at last, I'll say stay well, stay safe, thanks.